also known as Ketchup Beard, welcome to my presentation. Today I'll be looking into the roles of story artist and animation director. This will feature what the roles are, how to get into them, the pros and cons of some analyticals. So without further ado, let's get into the presentation. So what ties my roles together? The answer is a story. So what is a story and why do we tell them? Well now we tell them because they are the highlights of life, the ups and downs. They engage with the audience through emotions which is turned into entertainment. So um, lack for a better word, it's just entertainment. Um, they are made uh, via scripts and story artists interpret these into visual aids so that we can see visually how the story progresses. Now, what requirements do story artists need? Um, yeah, so story artists um, such as Glenn Harmon, um, story artist of uh, Hotel Transylvania in Madagascar working at Sony Pictures and DreamWorks. Uh, he has said um, with <clears throat> as part of the survey with many other anonymous um, story artist he's gave six good pieces of advice now these are uh number one learn the language of storytelling and cinematography uh, this is mainly so you can, people can understand the, the flow of the story this also influences um number two which is draw a lot it makes you can if the quicker the make it quicker the scene quicker you can make a scene um the better your workflow will become. This also influences the third one, which is the quicker the better. Uh, boards are refined many times, so they're disposable. So if you can get that cycle down pretty good, you'll be fine. Number four is be nice and love your work. So um, be nice to everybody you work with. This is uh, this is something that you should do in any job. And if you more so do it in animation and the creative industry, the more people want to socialize and the more they'll enjoy you and you'll enjoy your work and you'll probably get more jobs out of it and it maintains a great teamwork teamwork ethic now number five is clarity i seen in the picture with rb1 looking at mace window and you got anakin looking at r2d2 who's looking back at uh rb1 so these are semiotics um the semiotics of a scene must be readable you can often do this via gesture so you can get a symbology a symbology behind it um through one drawing and it, like one gesture can make a scene readable just the one pose can so that it goes kind of back into the cycle of learning the language of storytelling now glenn and another anonymous story artist has stated persistence was number six this uh, specific anonymous uh, survey um story artist has uh, said that they had george lucas visit their college and he said the key to being successful is in one word persistence so this means uh, when you're looking for a job don't worry about rejection just keep going and if you do if you do go to somewhere go to the director go straight to the source with your portfolio as it's most likely to get you a job um yeah so if you got if there's any recruiters avoid them as they're most likely business people and not creatives um so thinking about jobs let's go on to the analytical side of this um between um 2012 and 2022 the growth of the job market is going to be um it's, it's, well the, the job market is going to grow for story artists and this is good because there's more work um it's also bad because it's going to be slower growth than most other areas but this also means there's less competition so it swings and roundabouts yet again pros and cons if you were so we'll move on to the pros and cons the pros are survey show the surveys I've done show no formal training is needed, but it helps if you've got that foundation, it will help you get that job. Um, but it's all down to the portfolio. Story artist is an entry level, most likely a runner instead of a revisionist is like kind of the area that you'll get. Um, it's another pro is creatively uh, expressive and inclusive. You get to directly influence parts of the film, so you can say, "Oh, oh I made that part," and that starts made because of you. It's also there to solve, solve problems. As a story artist, you solve problems by working closely with the director. You proofread scenes, which means like you go through the process of having a look um, through the revisions. And that leads to helping with the budget, which is the last pro that I'll on here, which um, means that story artists can help save money by dismissing shots and scenes with the directors that aren't needed. Um, they'll probably be revised or just thrown out altogether. So the cons are a quick turnaround, as previously stated. It's arduous work because of revisions uh, on boards and them constant and you have to deal with the, the like, you have to deal with that all the time it's also a highly competitive job with a low wage 
he's it's so um another one is uh, idiot proofing as well so drawing shots in a specific manner to force layers the animators to animate scenes correctly so it doesn't look rubbish i mean you want it consistent and through this all it's a repetitive strain injury that you could get i mean it happens in most creative um jobs but uh probably more so on this because you're drawing so much now this also you can also put this to the lead animators as well um so let's go on to the lead animators because this, this is quite an important role to hire up role um so who leads animation visual development animation directors don't they so um what is an animation director uh, what do they do they actually do anything um an animation director is like the role above bleed animator so what they do they review all animation work on a project they um like speak to the producer and directors difference between animation director and director is a director is a head-on try of everything obviously is everything animation director kind of just obviously is the animation part of that with the film if it is a live action film or if it is an animation in general um they also lead multiple areas so like uh, animators in between all that kind of stuff they help communicate routes and make executive decisions to make sure that the like the project is in full flow and nothing goes wrong they also balance the budget uh, and the deadlines alongside creative needs with production requirements so they have a lot of responsibility by looking after the, all these um these creatives and making sure that everything's done on time within the budget and the means now let's meet somebody that does that and has done that um gendy tartakovsky you also may know him as the animation director for hotel transylvania and creator of dexter's lab and samurai jack he has held many roles in the industry including animator in between a producer writer layout artist story artist recording director writer editor um so many uh, i think he kind of embodies how much work needs to be done to become an animation director and all this has been done over the space of 10 years many long years which it requires to become an animation director through experience so going on uh, to what requirements do we need to meet to become an animation director um from that uh education is a must for uh, like the role you must understand many roles and you must have the experience um this can only be done over time so in some um, larger studios you'll probably be a specialist you usually only have that role because if you've got a focus on the entire team to look after if it's a smaller studio uh, it's independent uh, you'll be more of a generalist so you have multiple roles you could end up doing like say your own project and becoming your own writer your own um, concept artist all that as well as the animation director and you can see some of the roles on the uh, the the slide here that uh, some people have been and some examples somebody's even been a house cleaner i think that's for stop motion Anyway, you also need the ability to lead fearlessly in an understanding manner, a social life. So look, Jason is my mate. You need to kind of embrace it like your teammates and make sure that you all kind of support each other and that um, you make decisions without uh, regret. You also need the patience and hard work. Uh, local animation jobs, it, it's really hard work in general, but you have the added responsibility of looking after a lot of people and budgets. Now, going on to the analytics a bit, um, there's a growth in need for animation directors due to mobile and online TV. This is like due to the internet and digital uh, new technology. And um, it's about to happen over the, de um, the decade previously said of within Story Artists, which is 2020, uh, 2012 and 2022. And there's going to be a 33% rise. So this is good. But it's also a progressive role that you can come into from other roles. So it's a natural progression. Um, with this becomes the the pros and cons of animation director now leading is rewarding you can teach people and work with new people you'll never get bored you have constant work via different teams um pay can be better depending on what format of work it just it depends and it's like i said naturally progressive role so it's a higher stage in the career which you can develop from being an animator or runner from the very earliest parts to later stages now the cons are that there's a if you have a team breakdown or an unwill unwillingness to work uh, you'll have a breakdown in communication and it can lower morale and cost time and money and and i've had this before and it's really bad it's a bigger responsibility so balancing budget people and targets can be hard um time management and deadlines as well is another thing that's really hard to work with and just you have to work harder than some of your peers due to obviously a lot of people now with all that in mind i've come to the conclusion that the animation industry is a hard working industry and has limited financial options to support you and where you want to go but it's it, 
it all, it's all circumstantial of where you go and what you want to do. Now, I still want to be a story artist. Uh, I'm kind of still doing that for my uni work. And um, essentially, I would like to work in the industry via other studios to get experience. And ideally, I would like then to make my own studio via infamous community arts, which is a community arts, arts um, place back at home. And then get clients from the noise recording studios, which is my band studio. And um, yeah, it's, I'm already doing freelance work with that. So I'll possibly become an educator in my later years after all this experience to kind of pass on the knowledge. So, yeah. I am Brian um, Ketchup Beard. Thank you for your time and patience. Please find additional information on my social media and sites and blog. Um, yeah, if there are any more questions, please let me know. Coffee.